guys, David Ronson here. What I want to talk about today are uh, converted 3D models. Uh, it's a pretty standard practice for uh, fabrication to convert 3D models of equipment uh, so that we can put data uh, to the equipment and show up on our reports and also intelligently interact with the rest of the fabrication database. Um, we can give it labor rates, uh, we can give it uh, material, we can give it connectors, we can give it weight. Um, there's a lot of data that we can put in a converted 3D model. Autodesk has chosen not to support converted 3D models in the Revit environment. Um, and they do that by not supporting the CID pattern. All right, the CID pattern for converted 3D models is 928, okay? But I have a workaround. In fabrication, what we can do is something called a 3D model list. A 3D model list is just a conglomeration of converted 3D models. Um, Essentially, it's just a list of CI of patterns made from 928. I've already gone ahead and created the model list. Okay, um, and here it is. It's all these uh, CID 928 listed into one fitting. Okay, I've also given it a specification, some material, as well as some connectors. And let's look at the CID pattern. All right, so that's CID 1175. Now that pattern is supported in Revit. So let's use this pattern to get our equipment to show up in Revit when we do our convert. What I have here in the model, just to make it a little bit easier, is two pumps, the exact same pumps. Uh, the one on the top here is 928. And this one on the bottom here is 11.75. So I'm going to do the uh, create Revit MAJ, and we'll select the fittings, save it out. Let's go into Revit, import. All right. So as you can see, uh, the 928 pump is missing, but the 11.75 pump is displayed. Uh, the, essentially this is a workaround. Ideally it would be good for Autodesk to support the entire fabrication database. Um, one of the drawbacks to using 1175 is file size. Okay, So converted 3D models are not really small but they're small enough. Um, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So converted 3D model, you'll see here, these are relatively small files. If you look down here, this is the combined uh, 1175 model. You can see how significantly the file size has jumped. If your model has multiples of this pattern in it, um, it will eventually slow it down and have some refreshing rate problems. In Revit, it won't, wouldn't be so much of an issue. In a CAD environment, it can be an issue. So just be aware of that if you go down this road um, and keep an eye on those types of things. So I hope this is helpful, uh, useful to you. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to uh, leave your comments or send me an email. Thanks.